continues with Mike McDaniel at the podium. He's got it. Mike, have you talked to Tua, and what have you observed from his condition? Um, yeah, I talked to him uh, in the locker room. Obviously, I talked to him on the field, um, and then talked to him in the locker room before before he had he was headed home. You know, he was um, in in good spirits. What was your immediate thought when you saw him go down and into the, the fencing position? Um. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, uh, my thought was concern and. I was just worried about my guy, so, um, yeah, this, it's, uh, yeah, not, not something that you, uh, ever want, ever want to be a part of, you know, you, you, you hope not to. Mike, obviously it's very early in the process, but Tua, do you mm -hmm. foresee a trip to the injured reserve list, or do you, do you have any insight you, on that? You know, the, uh, as, right, right now, um, you know, I, I'm not really, it's more about, uh, you know, getting a proper um, procedural evaluation tomorrow and taking it one day at a time. I, the, the furthest thing from my mind is, uh, you know, what, what is the timeline? My, uh, you know, I want to know. Um, I, I, we, we just need to evaluate and, um, and you know, just worry about my... Um, you know my teammate, and uh, like like the rest of the guys are. But we'll we'll take uh, we'll get more information tomorrow, and then um, take it day by day from there. Mike, regardless of how he progresses through protocol from here, how will what happened in 2022 impact how you and the team handle Tua this time around? Um, I, I think it's it's important to to uh, approach each and every situation. Um, to the, you know, much like you uh, approach every injury um, w with it, which is basically, all right, we're going to handle this particular situation with this particular player. Um, you know, every, every situation is um, unique to its own. So, you know, I think, I, I think there's, um, you know, for, for me, I, I'm not worried about, um, uh, anything that's out of my hands in terms of I'm just worried about the, the human being and you know he'll, he'll drive, the, drive the ship um, when we get the appropriate information but it's day by day health is what you know I've, I've you know really uh, try to approach all the stuff that way particularly um, with concussions like, Do you think it's safe for Tua to play football? considering he's had four concussions in, I think, four or five years? Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, from a, a medical standpoint, that's, um, I, I don't approach things that I'm far inferior of expertise. Uh, I, 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 I'm just there to support um, my teammate, like I said. And, you know, I, I think, I think, you know, there's, there's uh, it, for for me to go ahead and forecast things that I don't know in in my non field of expertise. I, I don't think that's appropriate. Um, I, I think I think we'll we'll find out some more information tomorrow in terms of uh, uh, where where um, two is at. He'll he'll you know be able to spend um, a good amount of time. Being evaluated, and then we'll have conversations and and progress as as appropriate. But um, you know, I, I, I I'm like the the rest of his teammates who he he uh, he went around the locker room and and connected with. Um, you know, trying to keep, as a as a leader, he's trying to keep the guys' heads up and and uh, and. He'll he'll be in the office um, tomorrow to to be have the appropriate care. Mike, uh, even before that injury, there really it wasn't the kind of night you probably expected. Um, could, how, how do you explain what played out there? Ooh, the, uh, um, you know, it, it's a it's a tough one. That uh, you know, I think um, 
There, there was a lot of uh, high expectations and ambitions for the game, uh, fully knowing that it was going to be a tough one. Um, but I think, I think every person on the team would tell you, uh, the when playing a fo good football team, if you're, if you're minus uh, three or four, whatever it was, and then with the fourth downs, um, on top of that, like I, no one foresaw that. So I, I don't think you can win. Um, I, you might be able to win one out of a hundred with, with those uh, the nuts and bolts of that, and and I think that's the main thing that the football team uh, is feeling is supreme disappointment um, because it's uh, they've they've put a lot into it. They have high expectations, and um, you, you can't even you can't even evaluate appropriately when when you're uh, when you're playing football that way and giving it to the opponent and uh, you know so uh, giving them extra possessions especially a quarterback like that so you know I think it, it's you know football's a tough tough business there's you know like I told the told the team like the, this hurts for a reason um, and then you just you have to find out if if you need uh, you know I, I think I think we have enough veteran players in that locker room that understand that the belief will come from within because you uh, quite frankly you can already turn the page know the know what's going to be said about us and and that's probably going to last for. Um, last for a while. We'll have plenty of opportunities to, um, you know, uh, uh, really take take the take the uh, <laughs> just sheer um, frustration and anger out on um, our our the way we approach our jobs day in day out. Um, it's also, you know, very much week two. And um, and that was our first division game, and it feels um, way bigger than that because you know there's uh, there's a lot of history to to this uh, <laughs> this matchup, and um, there's a lot of things that we thought we were going to take care of that are that um, are, are 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 definitely not taken care of. So you know I I think it's a it's a gut check for the for the team early in the season. Um, I, I I look at things like uh, if we would have won by 30, um, what does that mean? You know, um, I think that pu puts uh, the the game in perspective. It's one loss that's at, you know that really cuts deep, um, but that. That can either be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you respond to it. So, um, I really believe in um, in. in